all that still to come, but Jason's in the kitchen with us now with a knife kind of looking Sorry, menacing, I'm should have be said. But I've got, I've got an email here. Um, that's From my in. kids saying, why didn't I bring them? I'm really sorry. Could, Ruby, I'm really uh, sorry. Yes, it's sorry. all about Easter eggs, Eddie. This was, your American accent in Brotherhood is amazing. Do American audiences believe you're an American? They do, but I have a kind of psychological weakness as I adopt the accent of whoever I'm talking to. I'm actually from Liverpool, so I wouldn't be surprised if I start going much more scales when we do this. But when we, we shot that thing where, it, you know, where it's set, so I just did the accent of the crew and uh, I find that quite easy. I've got to ask you about West Wing, though. my all-time favourite TV drama, and uh, enjoy it, enjoy being part of Well, that I know the girl, Janelle, who played the girl Donna who was my Moss, lover, yeah. and uh, I know her socially, and she knows my wife and everything, and uh, one of the takes <laughs> was they didn't show in the end. I turned around, and she jumped on me and just snogged my face off, you know, <laughs> uh, and then it finished, I went, Janelle, what was that? She went, it was a freebie. <laughs> so, yeah, so it was a bit. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the show. Yeah, so as she was show. kissing me, I was thinking, Donna, don't kiss him, don't kiss him. That's right. You love Josh. No, I, I think it's a brilliant scene. What excellent. was amazing about it? It took the most important issues of the day and dressed yeah. it up as kind of high melodrama, yeah. and it was one of the most popular shows in America. It was so very, never, very under good. never yeah. underestimate the audience. I'm saving seven series for the birth. Put yes, it on. That's right. Distract Put it on myself. now, the baby will absorb it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's been throughout. Right. Anyway, shall we so move on? How's the day, isn't it? So we're going to make uh, it's Easter. So we're going to do something chocolatey. So Excellent. we're going to make chocolate fritters. So what we've got: apricot jam, chocolate spread, chocolate. That's going to be the filling for chocolate, our little fritters. Chocolate, chocolate. Mm. Chocolate. Yes. All right. I don't know why you bother. Just eat that. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. That's what you're going to do. Then we're making an interesting dough with this. So we've got orange zest, olive oil, wine, flour, and sugar. Okay. Okay. Strange. I think you can take these home for your girls. Do you cook, Jason? I do cook a little bit. I'm sorry, Emma. My wife's watching this. Throw me things at I do. I remember a lovely day, 1989, when I made a, a, a toasted sandwich. I think it was a Wednesday. I okay. chopped quite well, anyway. Yeah, well, we'll try that later then. So, chuck in the flour into the bowl and then make a, a well in the centre. It's all you, Jason. It's all me. Okay, fine. I can do chucking. I can do chucking. No, yeah, I, I do. That's, that's not fair, yeah. but it's a uh, little uh, hole in the well in the centre. I'll make a little well in the centre. Yeah, there we and go. then put in the sugar, the uh, olive oil and the wine and Amanda. Mm. Do you want to grate some orange zest into there as well? This is actually how I cook. I can only cook if I lay things out like I'm doing a cookery you know, programme. It is the best way to do <laughs> it. It's weird, isn't it? it, it, it straight really in. Is. Yeah, yeah, straight in. And then, James, once that's gone in, then mix that together. And what we're making is a very simple dough. It's nice. Sun's going in the bowl as well, Amanda. Yeah, I'm trying my best. It's good. And oh, just oh, get, oh. get, you can, yeah, work with your hands if you want. That's fine, man, that'll do. That's, that's absolutely cool. Take these little bits off there. Yeah. So what we're getting is that little bit of a lemony, uh, orangey zest in there. Right. And that works really well. It seems weird to have apricot jam and the chocolate together, but with the orange, it brings a, a bigger flavour. Now, nice. that's fantastic what you do. That technique is spot on. So it's exactly that. And once you've got all that together, then ideally what you do is you'll knead that dough for about five minutes so it's all really beautifully mm. combined. Once you've done that... Cover it, but don't refrigerate How'd it. How do you get it off? <laughs> That's cool. The thing is, the great thing is, because we're going to roll it out, yeah, yeah. even like that, then as long as it'll come together, right. and you can almost use the bowl as a way of holding it together, you're nice. just pressing it and pressing it and pressing it. Okay? It's a, always a good technique. Anything that you can do where you can... There you go. So it all so comes together like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Beautiful. So we cover that, leave it at room temperature, and then let it set a little while, and we end up with... For how long do you need to leave it? Yeah, that's going to turn into 20, that. It, it does, honestly. Because okay, no, what you've got is, because you've got, <laughs> the olive oil starts to right. react with okay. the flour, and you end up with this beautiful, beautiful pastry. It's a wizardry. Yeah, yeah. It is. Waved his wand. See what you're doing there. I could Life just eat that. Good. Look at that. You could just eat that, couldn't you? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to roll this out. Yeah. If you've got sweet pastry now, you know this, Amanda, obviously, rather than roll it just in flour, if you do a combination of flour and icing sugar, sugar, it will stop your pastry drying out and we'll keep that sweetness in it. Indeed, so, Simon. So now, you can be quite manly with this. We want these quite thin, so just roll that out nice and thin. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good, and as you roll, then you can turn it. And I, it really, the best way to roll something is you roll it, turn it, roll it. So you yeah. keep rolling in, in one I'm direction. Gonna, I'm going to get home and Emma's going to go, you see, you can cook. That'll be it. That'll That's good. Be it. I'll be doing those. We want yeah. those nice and thin. Now, while you do that, what happens with the filling? All we get is the chalky... We chop, or you can grate it if you want. Why do you always have dark chocolate? What is that about? Well, it's really to do with cocoa solids. It's about the flavour. There's 70% cocoa solids in this chocolate, which means that it's a purer form. You've got more flavour in there. Mm. To be honest with you, if you're making these and all you've got is a glut of Easter eggs because your right. kids have been given too many, like mine have, then you could use that. It doesn't They're shaking the heads going, no, we haven't, Daddy. We're quite happy with <laughs> yeah, nine like more. They're <laughs> hyper. Hamish is, Hamish is hyper already. So that goes in together with our apricot jam. 
and our chocolate spread. So, is that you know, chocolate and hazelnut spread? Yeah. So you've got chocolate and hazelnut, you've got... There's only one person who makes that, but I'm not going to say what it is. Indeed. I think it's some kind of brand. I have no <laughs> idea. I can't think what it's called at the no. moment. Um, so mix all that together. And what you get, obviously, the jam is acting very well as a glue, as yep. well as being off flavour. So that... I mean, that just spread on toast. That's going to work, isn't it? You've got to be honest, that is going to work. Pretty much as Easter on toast. That's good. Yeah. So it's, it's quite hard work, isn't it? It's quite a, it's quite a tough dough. You've got to really <laughs> Am I looking my sweating? Am I what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I barely put any effort into this. Next yes, is... Yeah. Cut out three circles with that. Oh, I feel I've got the sharp end up top. Cut <laughs> out yeah. your hand. Beautiful. And then we get rid of all the other bits of pastry so we can see what's going on. Now, that's kind of not bad. You could have it a little thinner and it would be... Okay. It's fine. It, it absolutely mm. works. The thinner you do it, what you end up with is the ratio of kind of filling to pastry. Because right, right. so, right, okay. we deep fry these fellas, and obviously you don't want them to be too thick, because then you'll never really cook the pastry. But the dough is delicious anyway, to be perfectly honest. Then what we do... Bit of egg yeah. wash. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Answer. Brush right round the edge of each of those with a bit of egg wash. Just round the edge or, yeah, or across the Just round the edge, yeah, because that's going to be, our, again, that's going to be our, our secondary glue, really. Right. And then you want a little spoonful in the middle. Now, it's always when you do things like this, there's always that temptation to put too much filling in, but mm. you need to be able to fold it and press it down. So I did a lot of origami when I was a kid. It should be uh, you, second like nature. Do you remember that program? Roger Hargreaves. Was I do remember. Yeah. Was him who did? No, Harbin. Was it Harbin? Harbin? I can't remember. You see, see Friar Tuck is carrying Robin Hood was the most difficult one. In that's the book tough. That had. It was a really you tough one. I used to buy the swan with the water bomb and have an oh, exploding swan. Beautiful. Yeah, that was Yeah, that was good. But if you could make the, uh, the basic water bomb, then that was your key to everything yeah. origami. <laughs> I don't remember that program. Maybe it wasn't shown up in Scotland. I feel Sorry. deprived. I think you weren't born. Maybe your life was maybe a little bit more exciting than ours. Perhaps. To be honest. <laughs> All you needed was a square piece of paper and life was happy. And so, <laughs> now what we do is we fold over... Do you know, I did go for elocution lessons. Where's Tim? I actually did have elocution lessons. Thanks, did Mom. You? Thanks, Dad. Yeah. So yeah. I know we can tell that from Liverpool. Oh, damn, I just gave it away. <laughs> well, you see, don't sound like you're from Liverpool now, so d is it something you dip in and out of? Uh, it yeah. depends who I'm talking to. I'm talking to my right. relatives, yeah, comes yeah. back. Yeah, but I, I think it's one of those things that... Do I that. Think you, you need to blame your father, because what you should have done is done what all good parents from Merseyside do. Sat down with your children and go, you have to remember, son, you are one of the chosen ones. You're That's one right. The chosen people. You, it's been chosen that you should be born on Merseyside that and right? that you should support Liverpool Football Club. Because we used to go to Anfield all the time, and what I loved about the football was mostly that I'd go out my dad and everybody would be swearing terribly. Yeah, Look swearing's good. Don't tell your mother. That was my favourite <laughs> bit about football. I think you also have to remember that schools on Merseyside, we don't get taught the three R's, it's the three S's. Spitting, swearing and shouting. Oh, no, no. Now, no. what we do is, with these fellas, we deep fry them. So you're looking at popping them in. They take a minute or so, that's all they take. And when they go in, do keep moving them around, because as they colour... You don't want them to burn what, at all. What oil is that? Okay, just veg oil. You don't want it to be a flavoured oil at all. Okay, so we coat those. Now, we've got some in the oven because I knew that we'd run out of time. And you can do this, you can, you can actually kind of cook them and then bake them as well. But it's really nice if they come straight out. Just let me show you how yeah. quickly these do cook. So I would they... expect them to be savoury somehow after deep frying. But, but that's yeah. what's quite nice, you know. I, I yeah, always think yeah. that that's a great thing. A savoury deep fried dessert is always delicious. And, okay, and these so are good for you. Really, <laughs> really, really, really good fishes, for you. Yeah. That is just stunning. Okay, <laughs> so we get those, we get those, and then what we're going to do, a little drizzle, just because there isn't enough sweetness in there, of honey. Right, go on. You've been the chef. You do Over the top. And then just... You know, you're pregnant. Who knows what, what cravings? I don't want to get in the way of a pregnant woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'll <I'm laughs> never get to a pregnant woman without food. Go for it. <laughs> you Sorry, I'll go out and first. Yes. You two, please have a you go and try this. Kelly, do you want to have a... Thanks. Have a little child out. All of the sex costs uh, 10 to 15p, depending on your network. You might need to mm. pixelate my mouth out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Is it good? Mm. Oh, yeah. You like that? Yeah. So you get that slightly orangey flavour from the pastry and the apricot mm. jam is pretty absolutely lovely. Mm. You know what's missing? Anchovies. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, you recipe, could have have too recipe. many anchovies. Yeah. Quite spring like as well. Then Jason has got the lamb with the cauliflower and anchovy pancake and the bean salad with the fresh um, flavours in there. Talk to him. Does that? Yeah. Uh, where you found a Steptoe son before playing mm. Harry H. Corbett in The Curse of Steptoe? That was a great role, wasn't it? It was fantastic. It was a fantastic part. But I do remember gathering with my family to watch Steptoe son. It was kind of you know, mm. like watching More Than Wise at Christmas. It was just an institution. Yeah. I was, and I was amazed to find out. All these things about Harry H. Corbett off screen. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What was the most amazing thing to find out about? Well, that he was Britain's Brando, that he was, you know, mm. he yeah. eclipsed his whole generation. That had he not taken the part in Steptoe and Son, he would have, would have gone on to be, you know, maybe the most prestigious actor. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, he was trapped in that part for a long time. Yeah. yeah.